Lads, I am looking forward for this review. I remember using this card last FIFA. I actually got him red last FIFA, and he was absolutely ridiculous. I used him for like 100 games, and he genuinely made FIFA fun for me. Lads, Romariano, or Romarino, I'm, I think it's Romarino, right? I think it's Romarino. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's similar to Ronaldinho. He's Brazilian like Ronaldinho. Honestly, this card looks absolutely phenomenal. 415k, he's only been out for 40 minutes, so I can see this card settling at maybe 250, 300, maybe 350k. I can't see him dropping uh, too much more, but I also can't see him sustaining around that 400,000 coin price range. Now, he is 5 foot 9, high medium work rates. He does have the lean body type in-game as well, which is absolutely perfect. He's 4 star, 4 star, absolutely rapid, some incredible shooting, and especially with a marksman, which in my opinion is the most logical chemistry style. Style. Goes to 99 finishing, 95 shot power, 95 long shots, and 96 penalties. But you look at his shooting. 98 positioning, 96 finishing, and 90 shot power. It's just the 85 long shots that brings that 92 shooting down. Don't be fooled. If you take away the long shots and volleys, which obviously isn't as important as the positioning, finishing, and shot power, the average of 98, 96, and 90 would be 94, I believe, right? So his shooting, which matters, the shooting stats that matter anyway, he's more got an average of around 94, even 95. His passing is not bad, especially that short passing and long passing dribbling. You cannot ask for much more and once again with a marksman he goes to 96 reactions 99 ball control and 99 dribbling he's already got that 99 agility and balance he's got 99 heading 90 jumping which goes to 99 with a marksman and 81 strength which goes up to 91 this card looks absolutely phenomenal now he is a card that can play a uh, striker he could probably play left cam right cam in a four triple two or four two three one he could play central cam today though i'm going to be primarily trying him out as a right striker it doesn't matter if he's on the right or the left to be brutally honest but we're going to have him as a drift wide and get in behind now let me explain how his role is going to work in game once he is on drift wide same with Terry Henry and then I've got my cam who's Ronaldinho on get into the box so when we're on a counter attack let's say Kevin De Bruyne you're going to notice Romariano and Terry Henry my two strikers are going to move out wide working as if our wingers whilst my cam being Ronaldinho is going to get forward and get into the box it just works so so well and Romariano will fit this role absolutely or Romarinho I'm, I'm definitely I'm gonna call him Romarinho or whatever I, I don't know I'm definitely butchering his name each time it's a bit of a tongue twister especially if you're saying it often so apologies for that but he's gonna fit this role absolutely perfectly right because he's fast he could work as a winger but obviously as well he's gonna be central and he's gonna be wide at the same time if that makes sense which just makes this absolutely ridiculous like he fits my formation role my right striker role absolutely perfectly perfectly i couldn't i could not have asked for a better player to play the drift wide get in behind striker role you see into the review lads look at that there we go now he's moved into position Romarino with that shot that's a dream debut that's a goal already that is an absolutely dream debut from Mariano. and I, I said it wrong again what am i doing what am i doing what a rocket what a shot what a goal Ronde Bruyne win that. Ronaldinho. We got the Ronaldinho and Romarinho link up. I absolutely love it. Go on. Romarinho. The drift wide is very nice with him. Terry Henry now making that run. A poor ball from Ronaldinho. As you can see, he is starting to get back into the natural position, which is a strike here. Romarinho. I finally started pronouncing his name right as well. I'm proud of myself for that. Go on. Romarinho. Once again. Let's progress the pitch with it. We've kind of gone out of position with him. But he's trying that left stick dribbling in the box. Nice cheeky fake shot. Finish that. Beautiful. Absolutely unreal, man. Go on, Romarinho. Look at that run. Can he get to it? Is he fast enough? Almost. I think he was fast enough. Obviously, just not strong enough. Go on. Kevin De Bruyne. Into Ronaldinho. I'm going to lie, man. Every single pass I'm trying to make just isn't going through where I want it. Obviously, same with my opponent. It's just a battle of who can intercept the most. Romarinho, he's in position. He finishes that. That's a hat-trick. 40 minutes in, and that's a hat-trick already. This card is absolutely fantastic. His attacking positioning, perfect positioning, right where I wanted it. Obviously, don't get me started on his dribbling for the second goal as well. That's three goals, 41 minutes in. Once again, Romarinho. Go around. He's fast. Can he keep it in? He can. See, I'd love a five-star skill move here. If he had five-star skill moves, he'd be like the budget Neymar. The budget winter wildcards Neymar almost. 
me try to get past him. You know, we, we win a corner. It's one of those situations I would have loved a cheeky little five-star uh, Elastico or something like that, but we'll just have to settle with it. Um, and as well, he is in the box as well because he has got 99 jumping and 99 heading uh, with the uh, with a marksman chemistry style on him. That's a very good first half, though. Romarino is absolutely phenomenal, boys. He scored three. First goal was a very solid one. Um, a very, I say a very solid one. It was a great goal. It was outside of a box. He got the curve on it as well. His second goal was a cheeky left stick dribbling, uh, left trigger dribbling as well in the box, and then obviously a little cheeky uh, fake shot cancel, and his third goal was absolutely excellent positioning, and he just bashes that to the top of the roof, to the roof of the net. Honestly, a really good first half performance from him. I feel like the one thing I am missing with this card is five-star skill moves. Sure, I, I know we're at the point of the game where, yes, I'm actually complaining about a card being four-star, four-star, but if this card was five-star skill moves, I genuinely think he'd be one of the best valued cards on the game. I know he's 350, 300,000 coins, right? So it's not a cheap price to pay. But if he had five star skill moves, he'd genuinely be very similar to like a Winter Wild Cards Neymar who's one and a half million coins or something like that. But let's see what, what, what he brings in the second half. I've been very impressed with him. Go on, look at that run. Mourinho, I'm going to try ball roll him. My opponent read that. My opponent completely read that. I thought he was going to bring his uh, spinner's older out a little bit more, so I was going to try ball roll him. But we're in a, in a wide position with him once again. Now Danio's in the box. We find that pass. Terry Henry. Again, Bernardo, he finishes that. That's absolutely lovely. And as well, don't be fooled. Although Romarino did not pick up a goal nor an assist in that play. Heavily involved there as well. Obviously, first we hit on the counter with him with a cheeky through ball. My opponent did obviously read that quite well. Um, but I find himself having that drift wide on him. If you're playing him as a striker, have him on drift wide, man. Have him on drift wide and thank me later. Look at that once again, trying to drift wide a little bit. He's got the ball control. Now he can break a little bit here. My opponent misses a slide tackle. Let's keep going. Romarinho. He is very fast. A little tap into the box. And a little finish from Ronaldinho. Romarinho linking up with Ronaldinho. It's a thing of beauty. My dude is... I'm very, very, very happy with his card gone. Let's get another one. Let's hit it on the volley. Can't quite get there in time. That would have been a very, very, very nicely played as well over the ball. Over the top, sorry. Romarinho. Cheeky freestar skill moves. Gets the shot away and wins us a corner. He actually gets that tackle for us as well. Laporte, Bernardo, to Thiago, Romarinho for his fourth goal and his fifth goal contribution of the game. He's teased the keeper a bit. He's bringing him out. Chip that over. <laughs> This is fun. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. My opponent, by the way, started off very good. I feel like this is his road to glory, and he's a very solid player. Then as soon as he went two goals behind, he's just completely lost the plot. He's playing a high line. I'm just being patient, defending, hitting on the counter. And uh, Romarino, to say the least, is absolutely feasting. Well, well, what a performance, not only from me, but from Romarino. Getting those five goals from seven attempts, the definition of clinical. He picked up an assist as well. Five goals, six goal contributions. Lads, what an absolutely exceptional performance. Now, Romarino, I'm not just going to sit here and say this card is the best in the game, but I also am. This card is absolutely ridiculous, and I'm not going to go as far to say the best card in the game when, you, when moments are nine exist and moments parlay exist, but he is a top tier card. He is a probably one of the best value cards in the game. My only complaint is the lack of traits. I wish he would have had an outside the foot shot or a finesse shot trait. I think the lack of traits is the only little iffy thing. As well, you could debate five-star skill moves, but I feel like it's not necessary. It would be, I'd really have to nitpick if I was to say I would want him with five-star skill moves. Romarino, honestly, a very good card. Chemistry style, it's got to be a marksman. It just suits him absolutely perfectly. But what I love about this card, lads, is not only the lean body type, he's absolutely rapid. He's got some incredible agility, balance, and ball control. With the lean body type, along with those incredible dribbling stats, it makes him very responsive. One thing I've noticed is, as well, if he, you know, gets a first touch, in the air and he controls that very very well and then he can transition straight into a skill move very very fast which is just how responsive this card is obviously all of his shooting stats which we don't have to go over one by one but he is absolutely phenomenal when it comes in front of me and the five goals i mean it's quite self-explanatory isn't it now as for the only con we genuinely have just gone for no trades 
and Beta Van. I put him down as Beta Van mid Ronaldinho. I wouldn't quite go to, as far to say he's better than Prime Ronaldinho. If he had five-star skill moves, I probably would prefer this card to Prime Ronaldinho. But for now, I do think he is better than mid Ronaldinho. And as for worse than, we'll put him down. Uh, we'll put him down as he is worse than 93 Neymar. But obviously, being compared to 93 Neymar, when you're 300,000 coins. Is a relatively big compliment, isn't it? What a card this is. He's clinical, he's fast, plays a great, great role if you're going to be playing him as a striker and have him on drift wide. He can play cam, left cam, he could play on the wing if you wanted to. But most importantly, I think with the marksman and with the shooting stats it does offer, I think definitely playing him striker is a way to go. Lads, I'm going to give him a 9.7 out of 10. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.